See if this sounds familiar to you. You found a video on YouTube showing how to sing on the high range in five minutes, right? In the video, you got a guide to a certain quality, a particular kind of sound, probably described as mix. So you follow the guide and you land in something similar to the person was showing. Uh, you can go kind of high, quality is acceptable, it seems to work. And then you start to sing a song with it and the problems start to appear. For some people it will be the open vowels, for others the narrow vowels. For some people it will be going strong, for, other be, for others will be going soft. Um, anyways, there will be something going off. So what the hell, why is that happening? What's going on? Consider what you're trying to do. Okay, uh, registration in singing is mostly about coordination, things that you're not used to do. What did you really found when you were exploring that sound in the upper area of your voice? You found an island of coordination. You see, a narrow spot in your voice that you can use within your current capabilities, but with nothing else around it. So if you try to go heavier or softer, or has any variation of quality, you land in uncharted territory and the problems start to appear because you cannot control those areas that were supposed to be there for that to work in your voice. To make it more clear, imagine this. You want to cross a very large canyon. You want to go from one side to the other side and you want to build a way to cross it, okay? There are two choices you can go by. One, you can build a bridge. It should be you know, wide enough so that you can walk through it, uh, have a handrail so that you don't fall and die. You know, uh, bridgey stuff that you expect to be there. And another choice would be extending a rope from one side to the other, making it really tight. And walking on it, balancing yourself perhaps with a pole to make the task a little less dangerous. I think it's very clear for you now which one of these choices will be faster to do and which one is safer, more comfortable, and more reliable. And that's exactly what you're trying to do when you're trying to use those islands of coordination. You are trying to balance yourself on the tight rope. And that's a not very good way to go about it for uh, uh, many reasons. Some of them, usually the people that recommend those ideas actually used to describe them. They say it's a frail coordination. They say it's a balancing act. It feels like you're walking on the edge of the blade, something like that. That's not very good on technique. I know that from an artistic perspective, it's good to expose yourself to be out there. That's okay. But the technique to sing should be there to give you the ability to just think of what you're going to do and not worry if your voice is going to work or not. It's very hard to express yourself or to open yourself if you don't trust the thing you're going to use to do it. So what should you do instead? Well, you can still work from those videos. Okay, you can still find those islands of coordinations or something like that. But instead of just trying to make use of it and staying on that very, very narrow path and trying to balance yourself on it, explore it. I'll give you an example. Let's say that we're thinking of covering. Uh, I think it's a very useful quality. Covering you do by adding a quality that makes your voice a little spooky, kind of ghostly, you know? I'll demonstrate it now. First, you find a ghostly, spooky falsetto. So you go into falsetto. And make it kind of hooty, kind of ghost, ghostly. I don't know if that's a word. Or mimic a now sound, something like. And you alternate between them. What you're doing now is you're adding the quality into it. Second, get a good feel for it. Feel how it's like to do the ghosty, ghostly, spooky sound. OK? 
Okay. There is something that changes in your voice when you do this compared to the normal falsetto. Feel the change. Try to, to get a grasp of it. Third, after you do this, you're going to drag that falsetto all the way down until it becomes your full voice again. But here is the catch. Try to stay in falsetto as much as you can. Don't try to flip back. So you're going to do... Ghostly sound is there. Drag it down. Ooh. It will get to a point where it becomes... There is no sound anymore. Continue, continue to go down. Think of lowering the pitch. We will land into something like this, which is a version of your voice that has that uh, also spooky quality to it. Okay, get a hang of it. And now, the fourth step, you will compare that to your normal voice. So you go like, and you practice this from this idea. Don't change it. Stay on the low range. Play around with it. Try to change the quality and do it on top of the different quality. Try to explore that amplitude of motion that you have with that quality. And by doing so, you are training to use that on other areas of your voice. And now, um, finally, you can try to sing something with it. Uh, covering uses uh, usually that the light voice that we got into is very good for journey, for example. But uh, it will probably be difficult to just jump into it. But here is what you can do once those ideas are consolidated, okay? So, going to a falsetto. Uh, ghost voice. Uh, uh, here we are. And you try to go do some, some song. I don't know. Uh, let's try open arms. So now I run to you with open arms, not in the eye. Believe what I say. And you can see that it works really well with this song. Will it work on all songs? No. Will you be able to control it just like that from the go? No, because there are other things that you need to control to make it stable. But by learning to control this, single motion that that little part you are much closer to having a stable way to perform the song than but just trying to find you know a sound that you're gonna apply there because every single part of those phrases require a slightly different adjustment there is no way for you to produce a single adjustment that it will work through the whole thing and that's the main problem you can also extend this for heavier sounds. You don't have to be light. You can combine it with a heavier voice to get that ghostly thing. I'm on a light voice. If I make it heavy, you can use it to sing, I don't know, Iron Maiden, for example. Snowing outside the rumbling sounds of Indians roaring the night. It's very different from the journey one, but has the same element in it. And what will allow you, again, what will allow you to combine those things is having the control over each of the elements that you want to combine to form the sound. Otherwise, it's going to be very hard for you to do it. For any of these to have a chance of working well, you need to build a foundation for your voice. In particular, your chest voice needs to be well-trained. Support and, and closure of the folds needs to be well-coordinated, and you need to be able to... You need to be on a stage where you're singing every day without uh, getting tired, without hurting your voice in the process. This is really critical for anything more advanced to work. And I would love to work on this with you, uh, if you want to take one-on-one uh, -on -one lessons with me, you can reach me through my email uh, down below. Just send an email to me, let's talk. And the goal here 
is to make those higher areas where there is more difficulty, without a doubt, to behave similar to what you have on your lower voice and middle voice, where things are more comfortable, where you feel you can do whatever you want. You don't really call sounds that are low in the range, even if they have a little cry to it. Ah, 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 you don't cry. People don't usually think of this as mixed voice, do they? No, they, they use the idea to describe things that are making the high range work more freely. And what I'm saying is just make the high range free to begin with. Don't, don't try to find tricks and, and ways to make things work for you because you will need a lot of different coordinations to do something that sounds nice in that area. I'm not saying about being great. I'm just saying just, just to be nice, to be acceptable, you're going to need a lot of different things working on that area. All right? Thanks for watching. See you.